In today's video, I want to talk a little bit more about the use of the hips, and that is all of the muscles in the hips, including your hip flexors, your gluteus medius on the side of your hip, and the gluteus maximus in back of your hip. There's a lot of misunderstanding about how we use the hips, and if we don't use the hips correctly, then we can end up having a lot of issues with the way we walk that can affect our posture, affect our impact on heel strike, and those sort of imbalances that are created by improper hip action can create damage over the course of time and ultimately pain. So let's get into first a talk about the gluteus medius. I noticed in my video on how to walk fast that there was a big spike in watch time around the portion where I was talking about the gluteus medius action. So I think there's a lot of interest out there in that particular muscle group and what its function is. And I haven't really discussed that much except for in my video on how to walk with a cane. And if you're not using a cane, probably most of you have not seen that video. So I wanna get directly into the gluteus medius function and what it does. Also, go ahead and like this video, share it with other people, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Help me to grow this channel and get this valuable information out to the most people possible. The gluteus medius is on the side back of your hips, and the gluteus medius functions to both abduct your hip, which is to lift your hip outward, and also to externally rotate your hip. The gluteus medius, when we're walking, serves as a primary muscle for stabilizing the body when you're on one leg. When people have weakness in the gluteus medius, what happens is they actually start to fall to the side with their hip popped out while they're standing on one leg. This is called the Trendelenburg gait, and it's because of gluteus medius weakness that can happen from injuries and nerve damage. So the gluteus medius is stabilizing us from falling into this position by abducting the hip. And you saw me abduct the hip this way. That's when there is no weight on that leg. When there's weight on the leg, my body is gonna fall this way because all of my weight is on the side of my leg. And so it's going to pull my body down, popping this leg out. The gluteus medius is gonna take this lower leg and abduct it, and by doing that, it's going to bring me up into the correct position. So I am now contracting the gluteus medius, which has abducted my hip, and it's also externally rotating my hip this way towards the outside, and that is keeping me in a stable position so I don't fall over this way. The function of the gluteus medius is gonna work after I place the heel on the ground and begin to shift the weight forward. My gluteus medius is gonna prevent my body from falling this way by abducting the hip, stabilizing that position. So when I get to a single leg balance position, walking forward with the swing through phase, I'm not gonna collapse to the side. Now let's look at the gluteus maximus and what it's doing while we're walking on normal flat ground. The fact is the gluteus maximus is not really doing any conscious action during this movement. When I place my forward foot, what I'm gonna be doing is using my lower abs to tuck the pelvis. I'm using my gluteus medius to stabilize the hip so I don't fall over to the side and I am lifting forward with my rear leg, meaning I'm flexing my rear leg hip. That just allows me to remove that leg from the ground as I am shifting forward. Once I get to the flat foot position, this is where I'm going to execute the swing through phase of the step. And I'm not gonna do it by pushing back with the glutes, my gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus extends the hip or if you think about it, think about pushing your knee back against the ground when you're extending your hip. From this position, if I use my gluteus maximus to extend, what it's gonna do is push me back. It's not gonna push me forward. The only way I can use the gluteus maximus to push my body forward is if I simultaneously lean the upper body. Now I can push forward with the gluteus maximus and you see the result. 
So I'm not using the gluteus maximus to push when I do the swing through. What I'm actually using is the combination of my lower ab rotation, my upper ab rotation, and my hip flexors. My hip flexors are gonna help pull me forward, not push me forward. I don't tip forward because I'm at the same time tucking my pelvis under with my lower ab rotation. At the same time, I am flexing the hip to pull the body forward kind of catapult style. And that motion is going to end at this portion of the swing through phase when my heel is off the ground. From the side view, that is the end of the swing through phase in terms of what I'm doing with my hip action. And then I'm gonna use my upper core rotation to bring the heel down. I do not need to push off at that point to bring the heel down to the ground. Here's one way of demonstrating how we are not using our gluteus maximus to push off to complete a step. What I'm gonna do is go back here to this staircase and I'm gonna show you what the gluteus maximus is gonna do when we're walking and what it's not gonna do. When I'm walking upstairs from this position, I'm using my gluteus maximus to push my body up. But you'll notice I push and as far as I get is this standing position. No matter how much I extend the gluteus maximus at this point, if I overextend, I'm just gonna start tilting backwards as the hip pulls back because of the hip extension. It does not make me move forward. So if you're under the impression that the swing through phase of a step is done by extending your gluteus maximus, you have to ask yourself what is happening at this point of the gate when I push up I cannot extend the gluteus maximus anymore to continue to walk forward. But I can walk forward because what I'm doing is not using the gluteus maximus, I'm actually using my hip flexors. So I'm using the hip muscles on this side of the hip, not on the back side of the hip. And that is going to help tilt my pelvis forward as I walk, let's do this again, as I lift up, now I'm extending my hip pitching my pelvis back with the gluteus maximus. When I get to this position, I have to do the opposite and pitch the pelvis forward with my hip flexors. That's gonna engage the forward swing through and my pelvis doesn't pitch forward because there's the counter force going from my lower abs, which are tucking the pelvis, pitching the pelvis back at the same time the hip flexors are pitching the pelvis forward. That's how we use our hip muscles in order to walk forward. So we're using our gluteus maximus to push up here, but not to push forward. I do have engagement of my gluteus medius on the side because the gluteus medius prevents my body from pitching over this way. The gluteus medius is abducting my hip and externally rotating the hip at the same time. And that external rotation from the gluteus medius, also external rotation from my lower abs are working in contra movement to the upper ab rotation and my hip flexion that allows me to move forward. You'll also notice that the hip flexor that's engaged on the standing leg now becomes the hip flexor that's still engaged during the weight change portion of the next step.